And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. This ain't no square house. This is a round house. Mm. <laughs> I'll show. My name's yeah, yeah, it's not even cringy. Hey, welcome along. Yeah. I'm Alex. We're going to check out the round house from uh, Color Tone. Yes. Uh, please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up, ding the bell, all that good stuff. Please do. And I just want to mention right from the start, this was uh, supplied to us by Adrian at Color Tone, right here in the land of Oz. Mm. Um, in Australia, so uh, this is what you would call a sponsored video. Good stuff. We're going to check it out, see what it does to hear it. We're going through a Moz Trunks amp switcher, OTS Mini 20 Ad, and, and two notes torpedo cap decks for the cab sims. Yes, and usually you hear reverb from there, but not today because this also has a reverb. Mm. We do have some Aussie guitars too, which yes. is fun. Should we just quickly mention that? It's fun. Okay. We've got a Thompson's te custom telly uh, from Alan Tompkins, and you've got a Vander guitars. Vander guitars. Thing guitar uh so it's an offset he calls it an offset i call it the vander master there you go. so i'll play it a little later on so uh tell me all about it big fella sort of right <laughs> thanks mate uh the, so it's all australian basically on, um champ. all right champ so the roundhouse uh it's basically a uh tremolo slash reverb slash kind of gain stage Finger. pedal in a really cool finish. I love the look of it. Mm. So this is sort of a, I guess, mirror kind of thing with the, the black bits are cut out. So it's actually physically cut is out of there. etched? Is that the word? Is it laser cut, maybe? I don't know. Is it? Because yeah, etched. Sharks no, with laser. No, because it's actually, yeah. Because it's, yeah, it's actually, yeah, maybe it's etched. I don't know what the, the, the correct term is. So uh, the, one of the things with it being quite shiny is that there could be some reflectinizations in the camera. Uh, so for the controls, we have a speed control, we have a mix control, we have a uh, uh, wave shape switch, so where you can go from triangle to sine to square wave. We have a tremolo or modulation, let's call it modulation type switch, where you go, can go from an optical tremolo to a harmonic tremolo to a vibe um, cool. style modulation. You have a phase control. Now, what the phase control is, is basically it, it creates a, 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 an asymmetrical shape. So you have a little notch in the middle where it's straight. And then basically all you've got to think of is it, it moves the, the wave that way or that way. So the peak. So either you have a, a quicker, re quicker on, longer off, or longer on, quicker off. You know, yep. uh, you also have a cut boost, which gives you a 4 dB either cut or boost depending on your preferences, because often with uh, tremolos, it can be perceived that the volume drops because the volume is dropping, but um, not the overall volume. Then you have a reverb control and you have a, a grain control. Now the grain control is kind of like a saturation phase stage in front of everything. And you have a tap control, which if you hold that down, it also ramps the speed. So if you have a tremolo, you push it down, it speeds up and you have an on off switch and they're both soft switches. Very cool, aren't they? Yeah. Should we, uh, clean tone? Clean tone. So should we start off with, because you like reverb, should we just add a little bit of reverb? Just sure. check out the reverb before we even check out anything else. Because you can, if you turn a mix all the way down, yep. up here, it's, uh, it goes from all wet to all dry, basically. Uh, or all wet. I mean, from a, a, a tremolo that completely cuts the volume. To really choppy uh, to when you turn a mix down to none at all so no it's completely off no modulation whatsoever so you can just use a grain or the uh, reverb on its own sure so like this now there should be nothing <laughs> You want just a little bit of reverb just to have it in the background for now. Yeah. So like good. like what a bit there maybe. Is that good? It's amazing. Excellent. Let's look at the uh, optical tremolo then. So optical tremolo. Let's start uh, on triangle wave. Okay. Let's just see how we go. Let's put that at twelve o'clock. That's at twelve o'clock. Let's see what happens. Thank you. 
now it's so, no, it's sign. That was triangle before, now it's sign. Ah, okay, I'll think of a glare yeah. on my face. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, square, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it, thanks. So I, I, right at the start, I add a little bit of boost to it just to bring the volume up because you do yep. with tremolo often because the volume does drop. I mean, because that's what the whole thing is. Uh, to add a little bit of volume just gives it a bit more, you know, embiggens the whole thing. Mm. Uh, so it's quite a pretty re, um, tremolo that goes from Lovely. really subtle to quite in your face uh, just with that. <laughs> now, should we now, we're on the triangle wave again. Should we make it a little less subtle? And check out the phase so all it does is it turns it now from it's at the moment it's a symmetrical triangle wave so the amount of time it takes for the volume to go from off to on is the same as on to off now with this what you can do is you can either shift it so it takes longer and then a quicker drop or a quick start and a longer drop so that's basically what the phase does so let's check it out so this is now still in the middle this is what so it sounds like it's an equal symmetrically equal actual triangle sure <laughs> If you go all the way over there, it, it, you can really hear with with a square. Yep. So when you go all the way over there, the off bits are longer, the on bits are shorter. If you go over this way, the on bits are longer, the off bits are shorter. And it kind of changes the attack of the whole thing. It changes yeah. the way that, that it feels. So it, it's that's also really quite versatile. And like I said, there's you probably can't see it because it's small and reflective. But in the middle, there's a little notch, so you know when you're in the middle. Uh, now let's have a look while we're at it. Let's have a quick look at the three different modulation types. So, what would you what sign, triangle, sign, or square? Oh, I actually like a triangle. Triangle. Yeah. Okay, so let's find let's find a, a, a sort of a, an optical tremolo kind of thing that you like, and then we'll go to harmonic. Sure. <laughs> Is it good? It's primo. Perfect. Now let's try harmonic, which I, I gotta say, I like harmonic tremolos a lot. Pretty good. So we'll go from optical to harmonic now. <laughs> And that's that's a vibe now, vibe, yeah. so uni, uni vibe esque. Thank you. 
pulled that in, it speeds up a little bit. That's nice really one. quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah. But now I think what could be also nice, it's turn the reverb down a little bit as well. What about if we want to push the whole thing a little bit with some gain? Let's so let's use the grain control. Now you can again technically if you turn that all the way down, uh, and you turn the reverb all the way down, so there should be nothing again now. So if you add the grain, you can just have it as a distortion pedal, like a mild overdrive pedal. Well, it's on a harmonic tremolo now again. Oh, did you put it back? Yeah. Let me have a quick go. Let me have a quick go. Uh, uh, so, Vandermaster. Vandermaster? Yeah, that's what I call it, Vandermaster. <laughs> uh, sounds like this. Let's get uh, r round in the house. But hang on, I, I want, I would like, let's turn a reverb up a lot. I want sort of more like ambient -y kind of sound. Uh.
That's cool. It does the ambient thing. It does the um, traddy Fender thing. Yeah, it yeah. does. It it covers a lot of ground. It's very pretty. It's super pretty. Yeah, so I like it a lot. Sonically and visually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I mean, that's the roundhouse by color tone, really. Roundhouse. Roundhouse, not square. No. Nope. Yeah, it's round. round. Um. Yeah, there'll, uh, there'll be more videos with some other another pedal that that uh, Adrian sent to us coming up soon. If there's anything in particular you want us to do with this or pair it up with something, let us know. I think this mm. with a really big, like fuzzy distortion thing would sound good. I knew you guys said that. The the uh, was it called twenty two twenty two seven Sandbox Workshop? Is that, that the twenty two seven one there? Yeah, I think it's a twenty two seven. Oh, let's get the numbers mixed up. Yeah, um, I yes. think they would sound well together. Yeah, so we might. Team them up, pair them up, vintage, see what happens. Vintage fuzzy into that. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's a roundhouse. Uh, please make sure to check out uh, Color Tone. There's more information to uh, his pedals. They all look really cool. They're all that sort of shiny kind of look and yep. interesting stuff. It wasn't so until sure I actually saw it in person. These sides are kind of this creamy white color. Mm -hmm. So I didn't realize until I saw it in person that it's not chrome all the way around. So it's this nice kind of like combo between the, yeah. the creamy white and yeah. the, the polished chrome. Yeah. Uh, nice, thanks for hanging. Uh, please check out links below to Instagram, Facebook, and podcast. Yep. We'll do all that stuff down below and like and subscribe again. Give oh, us a thumbs up. Please do. Oh, sorry, but so back. And uh, comments below. Do you dig it? Do yes. You dig the roundhouse. Let us let us know what your thoughts are. Uh, I will also right. now at the end put up a playlist of all um, Australian pedals that we have on the channel because mm. there's tons of really good stuff coming on Australia. It's been a cracker year. Uh, thanks for hanging. See you all soon. Bye. <laughs>